The Air Data Inertial Reference System, or ADIRS, supplies flight data such as position, speed, altitude, and attitude. Part of the ADIRS, the Inertial Reference Systems, or IRSs, are the primary source for position and attitude data. There are two Air Data Inertial Reference Units, or ADIRUs. Each ADIRU contains air data and inertial reference parts. This lesson is about the inertial reference parts, the IRSs. The 737 IRSs replace the mechanical gyros and inertial navigation systems used on older technology airplanes. The IRSs contain electronic sensors and non-mechanical laser gyroscopes which measure airplane movement in all three axes. Signals from the sensors are used to calculate attitude, true and magnetic heading, acceleration, vertical speed, ground speed, track, wind, and the airplane's latitude and longitude position. The IRSs supply attitude, heading, vertical speed, and other data for the flight instruments. They supply position, wind, and other data for the FMC. The IRSs also supply data for the auto throttle, flight control computers, and other systems. Before the IRSs calculate attitude and position information, you must do pre-flight alignment. Pre-flight alignment senses attitude, true north, and position. The IRSs do not use navigation aids to do the alignment. The IRSs use gravity to calculate initial attitude and the Earth's rotation to calculate true north and position. To make sure that Earth's rotation is the only movement sensed by the IRSs, the airplane must not move during alignment. Alignment time is between 5 and 10 minutes. It is 5 minutes at the equator and 10 minutes at 70 degrees latitude. At high latitudes between 70 degrees and 78 degrees, alignment time is 17 minutes. The IRS Mode Selector Unit, or MSU, is on the aft overhead panel. To start alignment, you usually move the IRS Mode Selectors to Nav. This lets the IRSs go into navigation mode when alignment is complete. Turn the IRS Mode Selectors to Nav. The on DC lights illuminate for a short time while the IRSs do a DC power test. When alignment starts, the align lights illuminate. You must put in the airplane's position during alignment. You usually use the CDU to put in the airplane's position. CDU pre-flight operations are discussed in a different lesson. When alignment ends, the align lights extinguish. During alignment, the IRSs sense their position. They compare sensed position with the position you put in and with the position at the time the IRSs were shut down. The align lights flash if the IRS sensed position is too far from the position you put in or too far from the position at shutdown. 
The CDU scratch pad shows the Enter IRS Position message. You must put in the position again. During flight, each IRS calculates its position. There are no updates from other sensors. Although the IRSs are very accurate, errors accumulate. The FMC also uses navigation radio data to calculate and show its position. FMC position updating is also discussed in a different lesson. Special procedures are necessary for flight at high latitudes and in some areas near the magnetic poles. The IRSs cannot provide magnetic heading in these areas. The IRSs continue to supply true heading. After a flight, turn the mode selectors to off to shut down the IRSs. The IRSs start a 30 second shutdown cycle and the align lights illuminate. The align lights extinguish when the shutdown cycle completes. During a through flight, a complete IRS shutdown is recommended. Then, do a full alignment. If there is not sufficient time to do a full alignment, you can do a fast realignment. The airplane must not move during fast realignment. To start a fast realignment, first turn the mode selectors to align. The align lights illuminate. You can put in a new position if necessary. A new present position entry is not mandatory. Turn the mode selectors to nav. Alignment completes in 30 seconds or less and the align lights extinguish. The inertial system display unit or ISDU is on the aft overhead panel. You use the ISDU to put in and show IRS data. After the IRSs are aligned, you can use the ISDU display selector to show current true heading, true winds at the current altitude, present position in latitude and longitude, and current true track and ground speed. You can also use the ISDU to put in present position during alignment. Turn the IRS mode selectors to NAV to start alignment. Next, set the ISDU display selector to present position. To put in the position, use the ISDU keyboard. First, put in the latitude. Start with the N key, followed by the latitude numbers. As you key in the data, the Q lights in the Enter key illuminate. Push the Enter key to send the data to both IRSs. The Q lights extinguish when the data is accepted by the IRSs. Put in the longitude. Start with the W key, followed by the longitude numbers.
Push the enter key. The IRS's can complete alignment. If you make an error, use the clear key to clear the entry and start again. To display heading data, you must put in the current magnetic heading on the CDU position initialization page. Put in the heading 127 in the set IRS heading line. Regularly examine the IRS heading and put in the new heading if necessary. Reset the master caution system. The on DC light shows that AC power is not normal and the battery supplies the ADIRU with power. The right ADIRU operates with battery power for 5 minutes. If AC power is not available after 5 minutes, the right ADIRU automatically shuts down. If the left on DC light illuminates, the left ADIRU operates as long as battery power is available. If the airplane is on the ground and the on DC light illuminates, a ground call horn operates to tell of a battery drain condition. Reset the master caution system. The DC fail light shows that DC power for the ADIRU is not normal. If the other lights are off, the ADIRU continues to operate normally on AC power. The IRS transfer switch is on the overhead panel. You can use the switch to select the IRS source for the displays. The left IRS has failed and there is no IRS data for the captain's displays. Move the IRS transfer switch to both on right. The right IRS now supplies data to the captain's and first officer's displays. The instrument switch flags come into view to tell that one IRS supplies data to all of the displays.